anime at first i kept saying to myself people don't have the attention span for this anime they don't but this one is a banger i'm not even gonna lie to you first time watching the show i fell asleep then i gave it another shot and before i knew it i was invested i'm talking animation the music the story the characters we gotta talk about the character the action you know how i am with my action this show has it all yo it's gonna get the great and today we're gonna be talking about free run Free Ren Beyond Journeys End ironically takes you through a journey in of itself. We start with our four heroes, Emil, Free Ren, Heiter, and Aizen, at the end of their journey, after they packed up the Demon King, after their journey is over. After every fantasy story, we never really stop to ask ourselves, what's the aftermath of this? Now that they're done, what's next? We just assume that life's good. The team is celebrating their 10-year adventure, watching these stars fall, and mind you, this is an event that only happens every 50 years and free rent trying to ruin the moment talking about some the view from inside the city isn't very good what get her out of here and it's at this exact moment that we get reminded that all good things must come to an end and unlike freerin who's an elf who lives much longer and to her 10 years was nothing but a blip human lifespans are short the rest of the crew minus aizen are cooked but none of that hits freerin until she fulfills the promise of bringing the crew back to watch the stars 50 years into the future where she comes back and realizes that it's up for her crew it's up for them they're old they're gonna die when himmo died freerin try to make excuses for herself like i didn't even know him bro we only traveled for 10 years so why are you crying why didn't i try to try to better know and understand you it was in this exact moment that freerin realized the value of those 10 years that she tried to easily throw away those 10 short years had all the impact on her life one of the best things that this show does is flushing out their characters characters feel so real they have their emotions they're raw they have their own personalities thoughts motives the things that drive them in the world and their own impact that plays in the greater story for characters like stark he started off not being as talented as his brother rose up consistently working hard until he gets talented but because he was never motivated he was never uh, empowered he was hopeless and weak and lacks courage to stand like even though he's a strong fighter for fern she had a bad upbringing but she got a second chance thanks to high turn and free run. and now she gets to blossom and show her potential the talent that she had in her and that's taken her places she got recognized by siri the greatest mage in the show so far and sign the the priest who gave up on his adventurer dreams just to get a second chance to give it another shot to go find his friend who never gave up on him and believed him this whole entire time and that's just the tip of the iceberg the way that they let us rock with these characters over some period of time and really flesh out can really get to know them bro. just like free Ren getting to know the people around her and the people that she was on the adventure with for 10 years that she never got to know in the first place we're getting to know everyone in the show on side now let's talk about the fights in animation so i don't know what's going on in madhouse but madhouse always goes crazy they're just trying to flex on us with this level of animation this show does not need all of that but am i complaining no i'm not i'm here for it it's just so soon and all the fight scenes would have you thinking that this is a, a battle anime or something i don't think free run is beating the it's not a battle anime allegation because we had a whole exam art with some of the best fights i've seen in a while what makes a lot of these fights compelling is that not only did we get introduced to some amazing characters each with their own either in-depth motive background or just interesting aspects about them but they all get straight to it head-to-head -to -head clashes strategy and some real stakes lives were really on the line but you know what all that aside nothing in this show fight wise compares to free Ren versus fern and free Ren. now this fight is an absolute joy to watch just the pinnacle of magic two juggernauts going at it going crazy we get to see fern shine a little bit and we get to see freerin get pushed to her limit because she never gets pressed by anybody in the show but she gets pressed by herself and it's just an epic well-rounded fight with beautiful beautiful animation i mean that's tough <laughs>